Is it gonna be okay? Okay, we already talked to him. I guess let's see let's see if he can we talk to Alter Ego. Leave the area? Yeah. Hey. Um Just a second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looks at Taka, standing behind me. Y yeah, I know that. But I was getting kinda hungry. I thought we could head to dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well then, I guess it's okay. Thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. I'm pretty sure that's a flicker of doubt there. I'm pretty sure. Is Taka actual no, Taka's not actual farmers, okay, never mind. Can we talk to Genocide Jill here? She's out here. And why is she I guess now it's gonna be between Toku and Genocide Jill. I wonder if you could be able to hang out with Genocide Jill. That'd be interesting. I guess. <clears throat> Is that Toko? Mm-hmm. What are you two up to? Uh -huh. Ah, don't tell me you gonna. You gonna. Oh god, what's she talking about? Mm, yes, yes. Having lost his new brother, Take is ripe for the taking, so Makoto swoops in to steal him away. No, lady, no. <laughs> Am I on fire? I'm not gonna do a laughter, no. I severely regretted talking to Gemside Jack, even if by accident. But that doesn't matter right now. Have you seen Byakya? Huh? No, I haven't. God, what the hell's wrong with this girl? Good heavens, my love is being pushed to the limit. I always feel bad for him. Almost. Alright, Taka, let's see if he can maybe find Alter Ego here. I doubt this. I think this is a really bad idea to have him see Alter Ego personally. I don't think he should. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop there's a program called Alter Ego. Uh, uh. How do I talk to him? Oh, um, well, you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? Oh god. Oh, don't tell me. God! Taka is going. Oh Jesus Christ, I feel immediately bad for Taka right now. At first, I was thinking that Taka was experiencing this depression because his brother, or oh, brother, died. And now I'm, and I'm even further conflicted. See, I just realized something just snapped in me. Just, something just hit me. Taka is not upset because he is. You know, Mandu is dead, his brother is dead, brother. But because he actually feels guilty, because he defended Mando, who killed Chihiro, and he is in such shock and despair because he is supposed to be the number one moral student. And what he did was immoral. He defended what will be considered a murderer. Mando was a murderer and he defended Mando. He did something that he believes is immoral, so this is why he broke. Oh my god, I feel so bad for him at this point. Oh, I feel so bad for Taka right now. Oh my god. I would hate to be in his state right now. Jesus Christ. It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sound. Please. Okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked him. And then. So, um. Do you hold yourself responsible? If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. The one asking us questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. What appears next was... Stop fucking around. What the hell? Wait. Alter Ego can even make Mondo appear? Oh, I thought he didn't have to do his voice anymore, but... <clears throat> Not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of the responsibility, are you? G Yo. Man's only... <clears throat> Man's only worth as much as the load ca he can carry. You get it right, bro? Gee, this, I don't think it's gonna help talk at all. Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Hmm. 
that's... No. I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at simulation, using the data about Mondo the Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Yo. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed? Take the time to indulge your regrets? Might even start working again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with a kind of condescending tone? I don't think it would help. Uh, also, ego, you're not helping. Uh, uh, <laughs> Taka? Uh, uh, Is he okay? It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone dry sponge. Huh? Uh, I'm scared to know what's gonna happen next. Those words, deeper than my heart. The inside of me. Oh my god, he just went freaking Super Saiyan. <laughs> oh my god. What just happened? Taka just went full blonde. He just went Super Saiyan, ladies and gentlemen. Over 9,000 power. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Taka? Wait, don't tell me he does his alter ego now. Jesus Christ, how many people are gonna have alter egos now? First Genocide Jack, then alter ego, then whatever's going on with Taka here. Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes. You. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I caught. Guess I caught kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. Yeah. I'm and you me. <laughs> it's gonna be weird for me to get this voice down. I'm totally stuck with fighting spirit now. You dumb butt. He's not a cursing, so I guess he's being polite. Uh, okay, Taka, just calm down. What? I am calm, and don't call me Taka. That's that's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. Taka let out a bone-chilling howl and ran out of the room. Hey, Taka, hold on. And I took off after him, but someone stood in my way. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing, Kyoko? Oh, um, no. See. This is just... Enough already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems. Not just for me. For everyone. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you get out of here. Now. O okay. God, what did we just do? We create a monster, ladies and gentlemen. We create a monster? Taka is not talking anymore. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. Phew. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm seriously worried about him. I guess it's my time. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. It's not time already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. For now, time to sleep. Jesus, I, I have no idea how to, to be honest, react to what just happened with Taka. Jesus. You wanna know why I hate video games? Oh come on, you cannot... You're in a video game, well, how can you hate video games? You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at the house one day and when a big group of guys showed up to hang out, they just brought the latest big budget video game. They sat there lost in the game, passed the controller back and forth for hours. But now me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watched. Now, what's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I never actually played it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future either. I feel like 
After that little segment, I know it's probably not it, but I feel like you know, after that little segment, maybe what if Monokuma was just a stuffed toy that was thrown away by his previous owner? What if that's a thing? Also, let me go ahead and actually scroll down here a little bit so I can see a little bit more about the gift guides and figure out what other gifts I can give to people here. Mostly for Aoi and uh, Kyoko. If only had some Bulberry perfume, apparently that would work really well on Kyoko. I know it may be considered cheating to look up the guides like this. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! But at the same time, I feel like there are a lot of gifts out there, like a lot of gifts. And it'll be really difficult to figure out which ones go with who. Especially for people like Kyoko, who is a complete mystery. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I love it when they said it like that. It's menacing, it's... Scary, it's eerie, but it's kind of cool. It grown on me. It definitely did grow on me. Also, my hair is kind of out of whack. Uh, but the intro, this beautiful day, the thing that it does, kind of grew on me. I like it at this point. All right, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday. He's pr they're probably going to figure out what happened to him yesterday. Hopefully, we got Taka back. I'm kind of hoping that Taka is actually back. He's actually going to be able to help out, maybe. Leave the area? Ah, uh, yeah. We got nothing else to do out here. Let's check around here first. I probably should check the map just in case, shouldn't I? That should show me where everybody's at. Nope, nobody's around anywhere. We just need to go to the main dining hall. We should be able to get there. There we go. Let's go to the dining hall, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what happens. <coughs> I'm gonna prepare my voice for all the discussion that's gonna happen here. Oh, we're the only ones here first. We're the first ones here? Wow, what's happened here? Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. They went on ahead. Went on ahead to where? Hey, come on. We can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Bath? Oh! Are they all going to- Oh, they are going to locker room, aren't they? Oh, we're gonna have a meeting there, huh? Yeah, summon help! You fool me, what's going on? <laughs> what the hell is going on with him? Uh, you okay, buddy? Oh, Makoto, save me! I don't ask you for anything, but I'm asking now! W what happened? <laughs> she, she, she's just trying to kill me! You fool me, pointed at. Kyoko, really? Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? Uh, I kinda wanna talk to Kyoko about this real quick. I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop while breathing strangely. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to put this... I'm trying to imagine this, and it's way too funny. I think... Ifumi just wipe, tried to wipe out Alter Ego. I think that's what happened. Let's check out to see what happened. Huh? What were you doing? <sighs> I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work. Listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself further. No! Hey, Kyle, please don't kill me! Wrong. I'm not going to kill you. Merely instruct you. How oh, very sad. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk to her a little bit more about this whole thing. What? I just want him to. I just want to hear him explain himself. Okay, so we gotta talk to him then. Alright. Hifumi, please tell me what you did. Um, Hifumi? Could you tell me what happened? Uh I just... I was just talking. However... Which is prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I mean, you see... Talking to her was just so much fun, and I just... Uh, um... Whoa. Okay, time out. I can't believe I'm about to ask this, but... You fool me. You're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? Oh god, please. Oh god. You fool me, please don't. Mm-hmm. 
Not I, the cold blooded killing machine of the underworld. But I will fall in love. That's. Well, wait. It would seem. Wait, no way. Is is this love? According to the spirits, <laughs> I've been doing a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once. That guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about that? And you eyes just now. I saw the same look in his eyes. You know nothing. Oh god, please don't tell me he's gonna try to wife with a laptop. He fool me, please don't wife with a laptop. I beg of you, please. We do not need your sweaty palms and slobber all over the laptop while it's still processing, okay? Hey, shut up! She's not a mannequin. She's an angel. Oh god, that's legit. He fool me, it's wife with a laptop. What is the world anymore? I feel as if. And don't bother tell me my angels exist, or tell me my angels exist. What we have can be defined by your petty words. <sighs> Yeah, you're totally in love. So, how do things end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just want to hear it say master one more time. Oh god, ugh, ugh, ugh. Ifumi, why? Why? Please, why? Why? But then I was poking around at her settings and stuff, and so she was a well designed program. And it was like, how can I say? It was the first time I was ever able to talk like with a normal girl. Oh god, come on. You got plenty of girls here you can normally talk to. Well, I mean, I don't know. You could probably have a conversation with a couple of them. <sighs> but she's definitely not a normal girl. What? Even when we all did was even when we all did was talk about hobbies and stuff, she was she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> <clears throat> Your story is so interesting, Hifumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to hear everything you have to teach me. I feel like there might have been a movie that came out about it, where a guy was like getting close and lovey-dovey with an operating system. I forgot what it is, but I'm pretty sure it came out like a couple of years ago. I suppose. That's the first time a girl ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by, your, by itself. <laughs> Sup like supporting mom is good. Supporting moms are the best. That's why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even her keyboard? That sounds... That sounds weird, actually. Uh, very, very oddly sexually weird. <sighs> I think you have misunderstood the situation, Hifumi. Are you okay with this? Alterigo was not interested in who you were, he was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence, it exists to learn. Of course, it wanted to hear of things it did not know. You're an expert in many things Chihiro could not have taught it about, so what it, so what it is worth. For what it's worth. Alter Ego wants that information, that is all. I know that. I know, I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying it's totally hopeless, or...? You gotta be freaking kidding me! F you! Hey, you jerks, I'm sitting here, listening to you guys jibber jabber on about whatever! Yo! Oh, Taka, you back? <laughs> Who the hell's Taka? Huh? Um, you? <laughs> Listen up, I'm me, got it? What the heck? Huh? Huh? You? Who? What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I'm Kyotaka and Mondo, so like, Kyondo, I guess. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's like from... I never really watched much of Dragon Ball Z. So it's like... When, uh... Go I, th I believe it was Goku and Vegeta did a fusion. So that's what happened, right? That's what ended up mentally happening to Taka. Kyondo came around to be... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh god. I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. What, what? what the? What the heck kind of fusion is this? <laughs> it's a Super Saiyan fusion. <laughs> what happened to you, Taka? Actually, I told everyone what had happened the day before. Well, so, because of what Alter Ego said to him. Um... Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Maybe. <laughs> Oh god, don't, t don't talk about ghosts, I forgot about the hero. Ghosts? No, th there's no such thing. What are you whining about? Come on. What? 
God, you really cheesing me off. So it's like the the bolsterity, not bolsterity, I guess, uh, the boisterousness of Mondo and the politeness of Taka. Weird combination. Very polite though. Hey, Yuvumi. Uh, yes. Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but F you. Bro belongs to me. Huh? Yeah. Alter ego. He's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. Yeah. And I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again. Fudge an idiot. Yeah, poor Yuvumi. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I, I can't allow that. What? So it would seem. I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru? Ishimaru? <laughs> Since I have this opportunity, let me- Wait, it wasn't Taka's last name Ishimaru? Yeah, I think it was. Never mind. It wasn't that funny. Never mind. Since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. That's it. I'm sure of it. Destiny has bound me and her together in the guardian knot of true love. <laughs> Taka, calm down, dude. Well, me and him have been melded together in a white-hot hero friendship. Hey, come on now, guys. Moron, talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right on, right into all four of your vital points. Completely unforgivable. Well, I punch in a spear of sound, and I don't have any arm hair, so there's no drag. Wow. Enough already. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any person. Chihiro left it for, to all us. To, to all of us. We can use them to finally gain access to Vada Clues. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, hey! they'll have to deal with me. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think anybody wants to deal with Sak Sakura. What? Not even him. Anyway. Until Alteriga has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you. I suppose. Yeah. Got it. So then. Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a with a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. You'll be fine. What plan does she have? After watching Ifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I have to pull myself together. So what should I do for, with the rest of the day? Free time. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to the <laughs> Hello, what have we got here? Hello ladies, how's it going? Breasts as a treasure of the net. I kinda wanna say you could dress better. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>